to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another top five countdown, if you will. I kind of enjoy these videos where I can just sit down with you guys, give you guys a top five of mine, and just dive into it. So this one idea I had, so everybody knows, right, in today's era, 2021, right, in this year, in, in the last few years, wrestling action figures have really stepped up their game, man, like as far as like true effects technology and the articulation and the accessories and the, and the details and everything that we get with our WWE, AEW, wrestling action figures in general, man, is just been insane, right? Like, the amount of, like, <clears throat> the amount of detail they put in these figures, the amount of play we get out of these figures, and just the creativity that we get out of these figures is just purely insane, and it's so enjoyable on so many different aspects and levels. However, just because we get an absolute ton of amazing figures does not mean there aren't some that slip through the cracks and end up disappointing us when they finally get here. You know, they show us the render image, we get really hyped up for the figure, or we may think to ourselves, oh my god, this is gonna be sick, and then we're like, uh, pull it out of the packaging, play with it, pose it around, and, uh, find it on the shelf, take it home, crack it open, and, uh... Well, today, guys, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to dive into my top five figures of the year so far that are super disappointing. So this is going to be the top five wrestling action figures that have disappointed me thus far. And I think these are in order, if I'm not mistaken. I put these in order. I tried my best to actually get them in order. And again, that doesn't mean that these figures don't have any redeeming qualities about it. This is disappointing. This is not worst, all right? If you guys want to see the worst figures of the, of the 2021 so far, let me know down in the comment section below, but this is going to be disappointing. So figures that I was really, really hyped for that ended up falling kind of flat and ended up like, oh my God, I thought this would be way better. So that is more of what the top five is about. So don't get that misconstrued. This is the top five most disappointing figures of the year. So let's go ahead and dive into my top five. Now coming in at number five, guys, I'm going to go with AEW series number three, Pac. Now at first, I forgot we even got this figure this year. I had to like go back on the channel, scroll through my playlist take a look at everything, but at the end of the day, I've always loved Pac. I've always thought that he, he was fantastic when he was Neville in WWE. You guys know, I've praised him so many times on the channel. Uh, I can't even count. I mean, I, I love the guy. I think he's fantastic. I still think he's fantastic. However, I think when we got his figure, I when I found out he was going to be in Wave 3, I was super excited. You know, uh, the, the Elite 55 Neville that we have, the custom of Neville that I have right here. Let me go ahead and get him down right quick. This custom right here with the head sculpt, you guys know the BEW head sculpt. I love this figure to death, so when I knew that we were getting an AEW figure, I knew the articulation, I knew all these things that they, you know, that we were going to be getting with this Neville figure, but when I got it in hand, man, something just doesn't seem right about it. I mean, I know the head sculpts aren't the greatest, the body mold isn't the best either, he doesn't have kick pad rotation, it was just one of those figures that I think I was just disappointed in. Again, it's not like the figure is just complete garbage, I'm going to throw it away, it's more of just like I was really hyped for it, and then it comes out and I'm like, oh, jeez, man, what just, uh... So that is exactly what I'm talking about with Pac at number five. Now coming in at number four, guys, for me, this one's not exactly like I was hyped for the figure. I I'll explain. Okay, so number four is going to be ringside exclusive NWO Cena. So you're probably thinking, well, Brad, you knew it was NWO Cena. You knew you wouldn't be that hyped for it. But what I'm saying is, is that it's a ringside exclusive. And that being the ringside exclusive kind of disappointed me. I don't think the figure is necessarily like trash. I don't think the head sculpt's very good. You know, my, my NWO hat had like a crooked uh, decal on it. The NWO logo wasn't even straight on the hat. It was very flimsy, you know, to go over that big hair mold. And it's just one of those figures that's like, it's it's all right. It's not terrible, but it's disappointing to to see that released as a ringside split. It's kind of like the, the shield Kurt Angle that we got. You know, it's not the, that one was god awful. That's probably like my least favorite figure they've ever released. But I'm just saying as far as disappointment for a figure, you know, like ringside exclusives, I feel like used to have such like a, you know what? I'm saying to them. I feel like they used to be more prestigious, if you will, maybe, or they just, I, I don't know, they were just better, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, but it's not necessarily, again, that the figure was bad. It was more of just the disappointment of getting an NWO Cena. I feel like they could have plugged that into the main elite line or something else, but I don't know. That's just, it's just my countdown, man. They, I, I just feel like I, I really miss, you know, those big-time WWE ringside exclusives, so I would really like to see something else with that release, but I have NWO Cena at my number four spot. Coming in at number three, guys, we have 
have AEW Series number five, Adam Hangman Page. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, how the hell is this here? Well, Brad, this figure is fantastic. Like, I love it. I think it's so beautiful. I think it looks like Adam Hangman Page. I love the accessories, but the disappointment comes in the legs, man. Like, in the legs. This guy is, like, super crazy loose, man. His legs are so loose that it completely, like, it knocked him down a lot of pegs. Like, he would have probably been number two or three in the set, but he ended up coming near the bottom of the set because of this reason. Like, a figure is only as good as it can stand, really, you know? Like, a figure could be absolutely beautiful, but he can't, if he can't even stand up, can't pose him around, if he can't do anything with it, what's the point of having it, you know? Like, I don't know. I, I love Adam Hangman Page. I was so hyped for this figure. Looking at it, having the updates, the boots, you know, the head sculpt, everything about this Adam Hangman Page figure I absolutely love, but it disappointed me that his legs were super duper loose. Some of my investigation, it seems that a lot of people have that loose leg problem, which is really uh, hurtful. I hate that, you know, a lot of people are going through that, but uh, I could not leave him off the list, man. Number three has got to be Adam Hangman Page from Series 5. I, again, I love the figure, but the loose joints just rip my soul out of my body. So that really, uh, yeah, man, I had to, I, it, it pains me, just nothing but, uh... Coming in at number two, guys, I am going with Ultimate Edition Edge. Now, this one is super uh, disappointing for me because uh, I, I praised this figure a lot in a lot of my videos. When we first saw the render, I was like, oh my god, Ultimate Edition Edge. You know, it's going to be amazing to see, you know, not only an Ultimate Edition of Edge, but I can't wait to see, you know, everything come to fruition. To see Edge figures again at retail, I went to my Target like two days ago. They had three Ultimate Edition Edges and an Elite 83 Edge. I need to do a toy hunt, by the way, right? We need to get a toy hunt, but my Walmarts are garbage right now. Like, they literally have zero figures on the pegs, which is why I haven't been toy hunting these things, but hopefully we can get that back going. But Ultimate Edition Edge, like, there's four, uh, like, Edge action figures on the shelves, and I've always wanted to add a bunch of edges to my collection. Like, I have a pretty good size amount of edges, but he's one of my goats, you know? He's one of my favorites, and I don't even grab the figure because I think the Ultimate Edition is just off-putting. I think the only reason I would buy the Ultimate Edition Edge again, like, get a bunch of them, I probably should go buy them anyways because they, you know, they could go up in price. There's a lot of different variations, but I need to, I would have to crack the torso, put, like, you know, the Cesaro torso on there, and yeah, it'd probably be worth it at the end of the day. It would look really badassery, but the standalone stock figure was just disappointing. He looks super skinny. I think that, you know, the hair blowing back mold was okay if you, you know, if you hair swap it, but I don't know, man. It was just disappointing. Like, I was so hyped for the figure, but when I got it in hand, it was just, it just fell flat for me. I don't know what it was exactly, but it disappointed me, and I had to put him on my list here. Ultimate Edition Edge was disappointing, even though I still love Edge. I still like the figure. I just think it, like, the you know the high praise that I gave it it just came crashing down really fast and it really hurt my feelings so had to put him there at the number two spot and you know there there it is but man I love edge and I love ultimate edition figures but geez man uh and coming in at number one, guys, this is probably not going to be any shock when you think about this. It is going to be the Super 7 New Japan figures. Now, if you guys don't know what these are, these are the New Japan action figures that we got a little while back there. I don't even know. Let me look this up. I reviewed them back in March. I think it was like early March I reviewed these things, and they have a lot of great things about them, but overall, these were disappointing, and they were probably the most disappointing figures of the year so far, at least in my opinion. You know, uh, they did not look like the render images. They did not look like the uh, the little prototype images that we got. The accessories are really awesome, and you know the cloth and stuff. But they have single jointed arms. They have single jointed knees. the The head sculpts ended up not really looking like the guys. They kind of uh, the heads were a little bit oversized. There was just a lot of problems with these things. They did have the redeeming qualities. Don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day. For their price point, man, they were definitely disappointing. And they just did, like, I was hoping I could use these head sculpts for elites and I could do some crazy things and maybe bring some guys in and do some different things. But at the end of the day, the New Japan figures were super disappointing for me. And I think a lot of people would probably agree with that. But yeah, number one had to be the New Japan figs, man. Had to be the number one, like, just no doubt about it. They were the most disappointing. Like, compared to what we thought we were going to get and then what we got, 
it was just, yeah, man, not, uh, not really there. But I would love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think about the top five disappointing figures of the year. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, please let me know down below what your most disappointing figures of the year are. Uh, I may make a top five worst figures of the year so far. If you guys would like to see that, let me know down in the comment section below because I think worst and most disappointing is a little bit different of a list. So you guys can let me know what you think about that. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into the random shout out. It's going to go to Gene Quagmire. Giggity. Dude, I've already bought two authentic scale rings. I have to buy a third to get Aubrey. Please sell her separately. And that's what I was saying, man. I have it. I actually bought two myself. And, you know, I did it for the same reason. I have one mock, and then I have my Kenny Omega and my authentic scale ring loose. And then to have to get a third one to get the Aubrey figure, and then a fourth one if I want to have a, uh, you know, uh, one loose and one mock, and then a fifth one if I want to have a loose one, a mock one, and then one that I can cover up the AEW logo with my own logo to use in my own fed it's like good god hopefully you know i don't know that's just a lot to ask there so hopefully you know that won't be a, a huge issue but uh i don't know i guess we'll have to see how they sell and everything like that but the figure looks good it, you know the aubrey figure definitely looks pretty damn good but huge shout out to gene quagmire for that comment guys let me know down below what you think of my list and if you guys would like to see you know the the worst figures of the year so far or whatever but huge shout out to gene i'm getting out of here guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like all the figures on this list. Uh. You cross the line, I've been